you came to learn a lolly voice? Why? Why do you want to learn how to speak like me? There's enough traps in the air as it is. Do you really want me to do this? Really? <laughs>
So, as I was saying before, <coughs> the whisper technique, otherwise known as talking very quietly. Using this technique means you don't strain your vocal cords, so you'll be able to reach pitches higher than you ever could before, and you'll find it's much easier. Okay, so I'll give you an example of that. So, we were talking in my normal voice. We were talking like so. And it would be very nice and very lively. If I was talking quietly, it would sound like this. So you'd barely be able to hear me. And this is what I'm talking about by going up with the whispering technique. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you got that? You got that, children? Good. And now, step five. Anyone? Um, if you're married, it's not is actually it, five. Is it, is it, um, like, Do I have to slurp really people? loud into the mic? Yes! Someone actually did their homework. Well done. But yes, Yay. it happens to be copying other people. Find a lolly voice you like on the internet, and then copy that pitch until you feel comfortable enough sharing with others. The pitch stairwell. At least that's what I refer to as. So, imagine this. Your voice has a different ranges of pitches. Some have very low, down-to-the-ground pitches. Some, like sopranos, have very high pitches. Me, I have low and high, because I practice on the stairwell of pitches. Well, give it imagination like this. Imagine? Let me get my chalk. Where's my chalk? Did you steal it? Hmm. You smoked it behind the desk beat. Oh, yes. I remember now. Let's just stick um, that up there. We got, we, we got another one for you. Oh, thank you. Hmm. <clears throat> now, as I was saying, picture it like this. You have a stairwell. Going up and up and up and there's heaven, blah 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 blah. You know that? Okay, that's enough of that. <coughs> Excuse me? <clears throat> yes, Marv. What is it this time? Are you heaven? Uh, He's actually dead. So like I said with like I said with the stairwell, think every step is a different pitch that leads higher and higher to your lolly voice. Think of it like that, okay? Does that make sense? So You'll practice, yeah. you're gonna practice going up those stairs. In other words, getting higher and higher and higher and higher and higher until you reach the top. Which for me is still a long way to go. Because I'm not stopping in the middle of the stairs. I still got a lot more stairs to go. So, right now, let's just say you're a beginner. So you're at the bottom of the stairs. You want to practice going with your voice higher. So you take one step, just trying to get your voice higher and then if you find it easy go ahead and take the next step and if you find that on the fourth step it's getting harder for you don't stress it just practice between the bottom step and that fourth step and get those pitches down nice so that it's easy to bend them with your other pitches that you'll be adding later and when you go up the stairs more you'll find it's easier because you've practiced those steps before does that make sense any of you guys <sighs> does it make sense hmm? That's like, that's kind of useful, mm -hmm. like legitimately. Yes, I know, it's a good analogy to use, it's a stairwell. So, right now, say you've been practicing three weeks, and you have about, well, you have decent eight steps on the pitch uh, stairwell. So, you can go from here, all the way up to here. Let's say you can reach this high in your voice. Practice between this voice and this voice. Don't go any higher until you get those down perfectly. So practice here and practice up here. It's not that hard. Just practice between those pitches and you'll be able to bend them to your will as much as you please. And now, if you want to advance yourself, cut off that deep voice entirely and start from the eighth step. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, let me show you. Is there anything else you have to cut off? Um... Yes. What would that be, um, Moon Boy? I don't know, I don't have it, I'm a moon. Have it? I mean... What is this, it, sweetheart? The organ that the, that produces testosterone, which deepens your voice. Yeah, yeah. can you testosterone? Ah. I don't have organs, I'm a moon. Well, if you want to cheat, 
You could always take some estrogen. Just down some soybeans. Soybeans for days. Look, look, look. Now, as I was saying, if you want to go into advanced mode, cut off that deep voice you did before after stage 8. So you're at stage 8 of the stairwell, and... Your voice is already right here. Start practicing even higher, but do not go down to this voice ever again if you want to start practicing for higher. This voice is now nullified, you're not going to practice it anymore because you already know you're good and you can bend it perfectly. So you're going to start all the way up here. This is the 8th step. Let's say this is the 8th step of where you've come in the stairwell of the pit different pitches you've done. So it's like this. So you go up this stairwell, and now you're even getting a little higher. But you're still practicing with that 8th step, and now the ninth step, and now the 10th step, and then the 11th step, and forever more. And then practice those. Not too hard. Go ahead. What step are you on, Teach? Um, I am at step 1,329. How long until you get to 1,330? Um... Tomorrow. Now, as for the words you should use, the words... They shouldn't be hard words. Don't practice those. Practice easy words like yes, no, um... Other things like, uh, great, sounds good. Something that rolls off the tongue that sounds really easy. So, like, don't don't say what I said what before. It, um, uh, um. Super casual fragilist. Nope. Wrong. If you do that, you're gonna stress your voice for the first couple days when you're starting out. Don't practice too long. If you practice too long, and you're new to this voice, you're not gonna be able to practice the next day. So keep it. In 30 minute intervals, every 4 hours, every 6 hours. That do? You happy with that? Good! That That's sense. good. Once you get to my esteemed superior level, then you'll be able to practice whenever you want. As long as you have water, and as long as you're diligent, you'll be just like me. And that's, that's all I have for this lesson. I hope you found that helpful. And remember, next week, we're coming back here. There better be homework done. Better do your What's assignment. What's the homework, Miss? The homework What's is to come assignment? in a week's time what is it? with your lolly voice and impress me. Oh, oh fuck. I'll be waiting. Wow. But I'm, I'm a moon. I know. And you sound you, wonderful. Teacher. Oh. Pasha, I will make you proud, okay? Okay, good. Good girl. I, I, I will make you proud. <sighs> we are never going to teach a class of weeps like that again. I hope you guys are satisfied. That was. Oh. Oh. That was hard. Really was. I hope you found that tutorial useful, and I hope you can. I hope it influenced you to do, you know, places and whatnot. You know, that was cool. I guess. So that's the voice tutorial. I'll have all the like steps a little more detailed in the description below and all that. Um, I guess this is the part where I have to end the video. So and show fun for fan art here, and then yeah, we'll be underway. So yeah, there's a bunch of news happening guys so you know um, i'm currently working on my uh uh asmr that's gonna become a thing and that's gonna be fun to do um as well as uh, a bunch of new collaborations like right after this video i'm gonna be um collabing with uh, um rain ruby and it's gonna be fun so keep that in mind oh oh yeah we're almost at um we're almost at 40k that's also a big thing. YouTube's still steadily growing and it's really nice and I just Oh, I just did my desk. <laughs> but really, it's been it's been quite a journey. Um for like nearly almost two months. It's been really insane to see how fast the channel's growing. <gasps> and with you guys sending me all this art and banner art and this intro. Oh my gosh, did you guys see the intro at the beginning? It was amazing. It was good. Like, I have a big shout out, big thank you to Blaze Cun. There's a YouTube link in the description below. 
You made me that wonderful intro. I'm very, very pleased to use it. So, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.